Hello, and welcome back to the vlogs, and welcome back to Christmas content. You guys, I'm so just not over Christmas. You would have thought that considering that I've been literally celebrating Christmas since halfway through November, that I would be done by, with it by now, but I'm not. I don't think I'll ever be done with Christmas. It just makes me so, so happy. Um, so I just want to say hello, welcome back to the vlogs. Um, so we're gonna be doing like a little bit, bit of a weekly vlog. I have got you like propped up on <laughs> a lot of stuff right now. Um, mainly because when I talk a lot, I like to use my hands. And when I'm holding the vlogging camera, it gets really shaky and I appreciate that that must be really annoying to watch. So to try and stop myself from like shaking the camera about and putting it down, but it also means that my arms do this when I talk. So hope you guys don't mind. I have had a coffee, if you can't tell. I have got home from London. I've been shooting all day today. I've been doing festive content, which is always my favorite thing to shoot. Um, and yeah, I literally got home and I was like, mm -mm, I need, caffeine so it's not even that late but obviously it is dark so got the curtains closed got the fairy lights on it makes me really happy but i've got a few things i wanted to show you that i've recently picked up um and i want your guys opinion on them because i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them yet um it's from h&m actually i bought a few things let me grab them hang on so I bought a few jumpers and a skirt from H&M and I wanted to show you to get your guys' opinion on because I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them yet. I really like them, but do I need another jumper? No, no I don't. But did I buy one? Yes, I did. So the skirt is this really, really cute Czech style skirt. It's like, is that A-line? It's not quite A-line. It's more like pencil. I really like it, but it doesn't have much give. I, I don't know. I like it. I really like it. I think it's really, really cute, but I'm also questioning whether I'm gonna get any wear out of it after December 31st. Is it too much of a festive skirt? Can I get away with wearing it in January? Please let me know in the comments. And the jumper that I bought that I was like, well, that goes well with the skirt, so I'm gonna buy it, <laughs> is this really cute, it's like a oatmeal color, chunky knit jumper. Now, I'm normally like a medium when it comes to jumpers, mainly because I like, like them oversized. I bought this in a extra small. I can tell you now, I'm not an extra small. So for an extra small to fit me, it must mean that this is the most oversized jumper you'll ever see in your life. So just bear that in mind. I don't think, I don't know, I think it's the shape of it. I was like, I don't think that would work oversized. So I'm thinking of styling this up with a skirt tucked in. Let me know what you think, whether I should keep it, whether I need another oatmeal jumper. I mean, you're all probably gonna say no, but still, I really like it. And then the last thing that I bought um, is this Christmas jumper. Now I've seen this on a few feeds, but what the feed doesn't tell you is itch factor. And I'm a bit disappointed that this H&M jumper is a little bit itchy. And you guys know I just really I don't do itchy jumpers. Like there is just no room for itchy jumpers in 2019, let's be honest. They have so many materials that they can make from why they're making something that's itchy. So I love it, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet. I haven't decided, but it is such a cute little festive jumper. Like it's not too tacky, but it's really festive. <laughs> I don't know, I can't decide. Hello, I'm tired. <laughs> Say hello everyone. I have just spent the last few hours of my evening. My God, my makeup is horrendous. But I have just spent the last three hours Ignore the tissues. Wrapping up. So, that is literally 99.9% .9 of my presents done and dusted. I'm so, so happy. So this is all of my family's and Alex's family's. I've also got, it was his niece's birthday recently, so her birthday present um, and Christmas presents and stuff. But oh my God, I am shattered. I actually ended up running out of sellotape, which is so frustrating because I was on almost the last present. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to go into town and buy some more sellotape at some point so that I can carry on wrapping. I'd also just like to say, the wrapping paper that I bought this year, this stuff here. So this is all from HomeSense and it is 100% recyclable. So I know that obviously wrapping paper isn't recyclable and I'm very aware of like the impact that it has on the environment. I mean, the amount of presents that people get 
which means the amount of wrapping paper they're using and the thousands of thousands of people that will be doing that it's just kind of breaks my heart a little bit so that's just one really small thing that i've done to make a bit more of a conscious effort this christmas um so i'm going to make sure that this paper is recycled after everyone's opened their presents um and also i didn't quite realize how much was in a roll Ooh. oops i didn't quite realize how much was in a roll so we bought three rolls and we still have like a lot left oops i won't lie it's really nice just to have an evening at home tonight i've been wrapping presents we've been sorting dinner just sitting down enjoying each other's company it's quite rare especially this time of year to like have that time obviously i love this time of year and i absolutely love how many parties there are and festive drinks and meals and all of that um but sometimes it's just quite nice to have an evening to yourself and just have an evening inside in a cozy jumper i'm going to take my makeup off in a minute and just chill um but i did actually want to show you i had a pandora party recently and it was so much fun there was carol singers there were drinks there was like cozy like log fires burning everywhere it was so so cute and they really kindly honestly pandora's parties they are so so generous with their gifting and i just wanted to show you this bracelet i think it's struggling to focus there we go so I think this is part of the Christmas gifting collection and it's this stunning dainty star bracelet. I might put it on to show you. Oh that is so pretty. My camera's really struggling to focus on it. I was a little bit worried it wasn't going to fit my wrist but actually it fits perfectly. That is gorgeous thank you so much pandora that is going to be a part of my everyday jewelry i can tell you now you know your jewelry collection is getting a little bit out of hand when your jewelry box looks like this so i was just about to like take my jewelry and stuff off for the night and i kind of realized how atrocious my jewelry box has gotten now this is a jewelry box that alex blessing got me um a year or so ago for a birthday um and i absolutely love it and 99 percent of the time well that's a lie for like one month of the year it looks really clean and tidy and then the other 99 percent of the time it is like a bombs hit it so i thought that we could just sort through my jewelry box today and get it looking a bit tidier so that i can find things a lot easier and so that it just looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing Okay, so we've got you up on the tripod here just so that I can like show you at the same time and we can sort it out together. So most of my jewellery is Pandora, let's be honest, about 99% of it, but my watches are always Daniel Wellington. Now these, this is part of their new collection, this white one, um, and I really, really love that for during the day. And then this is like my evening watch. Um, this is the classic, I think it's called like the Oxford or something. Um, which I just love. So these are my two watches that I wear all the time. I literally don't wear anything else. I wish I had like a watch box. I could put these in separately. But alas, we are working with what we've got. So earring wise, I tend to keep like my little studs in here. Um, I'm not sure if that's like the most beneficial use of this little section. I also use it for rings. Um, so let's just move these over. Um, and I tend to put my smaller rings in here, uh, just so that I've got easy access to them, so I can get them out easier. Oh dear, this is in a bit of a knot. Oh no, it's in like a proper knot. Anyone good at knots? Can you help me? And it's freed. Yay. Right, so that one goes in there as well. Can 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to move these studs, which is annoying. that's all in this little section here so this is just the bottom half of it i tend to put the jewelry that i don't wear as much in there um and there's only one pair of studs that i really wear often i am a bit more of like a hoop girl like a dangly earring kind of a gal so i'm going to put all of the other ones bar the ones that i wear quite often down there and then these ones can be kept up here in the corner looking pretty fab uh, so yeah, it just means that I can keep the rings that I use a lot in here, and I can pull them out when I need. Now, the only dilemma is that these ones, if you can see these, let focus. So these two are much thicker, which means they don't fit inside this bit. So I'm not sure where we're going to put those yet. We might be able to put them down there. But I'm not sure if I like that. So I've also just got a little pair of tiny little hoops there. Which I'm going to put, I think, on the end here. That fits nicely. Fab. Okay, so bracelet-wise, we've got quite a few bangles. They're kind of my favourite things to wear. I find them really, really easy. I've obviously got, like, my... Uh, beaded bangles and then the other two that we've got is the new star one and the pandora reflections one so i don't know if you could have put all the bangles there i think i think these two can kind of just sit beside it nicely i think that's all right i've also got this gorgeous rose gold it's like a locket but i don't actually have anything in it um so it's just really really cute again from pandora of course <laughs> okay so i think i'm just going to put the watches on this side but then the main issue i've got now is my necklaces that i wear i think i'm just gonna have to put these in there and the necklaces on this side Ta-da! that is looking so much neater now i'm really happy with how that looks you can see a lot more of my rings more clearly I have easy access. I don't like the necklaces there, but at the moment I don't really have anything else that I can do with them. This ring is literally my all-time favourite. And I also love this one, which is another gold one. I'm going to focus. It's a bit more sparkly. I love. I think it's just so pretty. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how that looks. I can get to my bangles a lot more easier. I mean, I literally just wear these every day. This is like the classic. This is the wishbone. I wear them every single day. So that's just easy access there. And it just makes it a lot more manageable. Just going to sign off this vlog for tonight. I will be back with you, I think, tomorrow. I'm going to do some festive stuff, which will be fun. Um, but this girl is tired. So I'm going to head to bed and take my makeup off and get into my comfies and I'm really looking forward to it. Good morning. Fun fact about Fiat's, there's nowhere to peek the camera when you're in the car. But hello. <laughs> I've got a bit of a dash cam going on today. Um, not actually on my dashboard because I tried putting it on my dashboard and literally all you could see was my steering wheel. So, I'm looking a bit worse for wear today. I've got greasy hair. I've got literally no makeup on and that's because I've got a bit of a pamper day today. So I'm getting my hair done and getting uh, my lashes done. So I get LVL lashes. Um, it lasts about six weeks. Like I'd really recommend it, it's really good. Um, but I tend to get it more like every two months, uh, mainly because it costs money. Um, so I really, really like it though because I hate wearing mascara. I just really hate it. Um, and it just means that you can kind of get away with not wearing mascara and they look like really full and nice So yeah, and I'm also getting my hair done my roots need done so bad It's really funny because whenever I say that to people they're like no they don't because I have balayage So often you can't tell because obviously it just goes from dark to light But I can really tell like I don't know if you can see here like if I just do this You can really see the root like yeah right there 
So yeah, getting the roots done today, um, hence the greasy hair, because obviously I'm not gonna wash my hair just before I go to the hairdressers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to the hair wash today and a bit of a head rub. Yes, yes. This is the time we all know too well where you get to stare at yourself in the mirror for about four hours and realize just how ugly you really are. Um, but I've got the, they're not actually foils, but I've got the, the bits in my hair for the color now and I'm ready to be made beautiful. I mean, I think I look pretty beautiful right now. So I just wanted to show you guys the finished look with my hair. I am so, so happy with how it looks. It's just a little bit blonder. I've had the roots touched up, so it always looks like quite a lot blonder. Um, but I've also just had a few more blonde streaks put through the end, just so that there's a bit more of like a balayage. But I am so happy with how it looks. And I really like the length as well. Gone a tiny bit shorter, which looks really good. Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd just come on here and show you my hair. I know I showed it to you last night, um, but obviously, because it was so dark like when I got home, I feel like the lighting wasn't that great. So I thought I'd just show you it in a more natural light. Um, so obviously, all I asked for was like a blast dry from the hairdressers because <sighs> I'm really lazy. <laughs> And I couldn't really be bothered for anything else. Um, when you've been sat in the, in that chair for like three and a half hours, you do not care how they blow dry your hair. You just kind of like, just blast dry it. Whatever gets me up and gets me home sooner. Um, but yeah, so I'm heading into London today. I am meeting up with an old school friend, which is going to be really, really nice. She's um, recently moved to London as well. Um, so that will be really, really lovely to catch up. Although the weather is looking miserable. So I'm not really looking forward to walking around in the rain, but it will be really, really nice to catch up with my friend. We're heading into Seven Dials, which I just, I love that part of London. It's near Covent Garden, if you don't know it. Um, and it just has like some really nice, there's like a big market with loads of like food places. There's loads of nice cafes um, and it's just really pretty and I really, really like it. So yeah, really looking forward to that today. Hello. I am literally been absolutely soaked today. Um, but I completely forgot to vlog whilst I was with my friend just because we were just having such a nice catch up. We were literally chatting for like three, maybe four hours. And it was one of those things where we looked at the time and went, okay, we should probably go home. Um, so we had a really, really lovely time. I'm just getting on the tube now. And yeah, just had a really nice day. Very wet, but really nice day. So nice to catch up. Good morning, everyone. It literally feels like minus 25 degrees this morning. It is so, so cold. I don't know how I'm gonna shoot today. I'm heading to London to shoot, by the way. Um, I'm meeting up with Charlotte. Uh, I will tag her, I'll link her YouTube below. She's also got a YouTube channel. And I just absolutely love watching her. She's such a babe. So down to earth, creates like really similar style videos to me. Um, and I just love watching her vlogs with like a cup of tea in bed or in the bath or something. Um, and yeah, I just, I love that girl. We've been like trying to meet up for literally years. We have been talking on Instagram for like so, so long and she moved to Amsterdam recently. So obviously it's like really tricky <laughs> finding the time to meet up um, because she's not like, back over in the UK that often. Um, but she's here today. So we're meeting up. We're gonna be shooting some Christmas content. I'm really, really excited. I love shooting Christmas content. It's like my favorite thing ever. And also shooting with my new hair. Because I had to have it straight today because I quite actually like how the colour looks when it's straighter. Um, but I have these baby hairs that always really annoy me. I like try and tuck them up. But they're always right there. Makes it look like I've got this weird shadow on my forehead. Um, anyway, not that you care. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with us, show you maybe some behind the scenes of the shoot if we get time. And if I'm not too freezing cold that I become like a massive grumpy mess. Because when it starts to get this cold, you get to the stage where you're like, I don't even care if we've got the shot, I just want to go and grab a coffee. I just want to warm up. So yeah, we'll see. But hopefully I'll be able to bring you along with us. Hello everyone! So I'm with Charlotte now. And we're getting our shots done. It's so windy. I have so much hair in my mouth right now. Let's <laughs> just, just fix this. Ooh. There we go. Cool. So we're shooting on Bond Street today. And there's so many cute Christmas decorations up. I'm absolutely loving it. It's really festive, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> nice and festive on Bond Street. Oh, yeah, it is. It's so gorgeous. Obviously, as Charlotte's come over from Amsterdam, she's not been able to shoot London content yet. So, 
She's getting, she's getting so excited for all the Christmas decorations. <laughs> but yeah, we're having a really good time. And I can't wait to show you guys all the photos. I always love getting Christmas content. It's like my favorite kind of content to get. So. I mean, this is like real behind the scenes <laughs> of a blogger shoot. Getting the suitcase out, <laughs> changing your shoes on the spot. Um, but yeah, we're on Bond Street now and it is looking so pretty. I'm loving all the festive decorations. It looks really, really cute. It's not really our day today, is it, Charlotte? No. We've really been, awesome. been wandering around for about 15 minutes trying to find a toilet. And no cafes or restaurants near Bond Street have a toilet, which is just a bit ridiculous, really. Well, it's ridiculous for like. <laughs> Exactly. So we've um we've resulted to street changing, which is always really fun and glamorous. So if ever you thought that the life of a blogger was just glamour, 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 this is a prime example of why it's not. <laughs> um, but still, we're powering through. We're getting through it. We're getting some good shots. So it's worth it. Good morning. I feel like I need to go a bit further back so you can see me. I am sitting on the floor in my kitchen today because I have had a really exciting delivery and that is these bad boys Let's see one. from Matalan Home. So I've been really, really kindly gifted these. I work with Matalan quite a lot and I just absolutely love their homeware. Like I've bought so many things from their home section. I just, I feel like it's like H&M Home, but more affordable so they do some like really cool pieces and they're all at really really great prices and um, whenever i tell people they're from matalan at home they're like no they don't believe me because they just seem like such good quality so we are changing up our bedside tables in our bedroom so we have got a bit of a smaller bedroom than in our last flat so in our last flat it was like a master bedroom and it's still technically classed as like a master bedroom um, but it meant that we bought a king size bed because Alex is six foot three and let's be honest, you want as much space as you can. So we bought a king size bed, but this bedroom, it only kind of just fits. Like I think we would have been better off going for a double bed, but we already had the bed. We weren't going to like return it and get a new one. And also when you get used to sleeping in a king size, going back to a double bed, you're like, what is this? It's so small, get away from me. Um, so yeah, we um, have a king size bed but, and it meant we had quite big side tables before and I just found them a bit overwhelming in the bedroom. Like I felt like, I don't know, I just didn't like it. Every time I looked at the bed I was like, it just feels cramped. So I wanted to go for something a lot more open, something that's got a lot more space. We don't really need drawers essentially in our bedside tables, like we don't really use them. I'm not going to lie, we just shove crap in there. So to not have drawers might be a good thing because it means that we won't like just shove anything in there. Um, so yes, we've got these marble tables, um, which I'm really, really excited to unwrap and get up and see what a difference they make in the bedroom. So let's get started with this. That actually looks, that looks quite nice actually. <laughs> Let's go and put them up in the bedroom. Okay, so this is gonna be quite difficult to show you, mainly because it's so dark in here now. It's literally like half three, but no. Yeah, quarter past three, yeah, already. The sun has pretty much set. Um, but I am so, so happy with how these look. You'll also have to excuse the fact that I'm washing the bed sheets, so. We have no proper bed sheets on, but they look really, really nice. I'll show you around this side as well. I'm just so chuffed with how they look. I think it really opens up the space around the bed. It's so difficult to show you, because um, I can't really get far back enough, but it just makes them look a lot more spacious and a lot less kind of claustrophobic. I also just want to show you another little gift that I've been sent from Aslan Home. I'm so obsessed with and it's this stag head. I'm really struggling to show you because he's so high up. Let me 
Oh, let me get him down. It's this fella right here. He is so flipping cool. I won't lie, I was expecting him to be about half the size as what he actually was, just because I only saw him online. Um, so you never really know kind of what things are gonna look like, but he's literally like the size of my face. And I kind of love it. I think it looks really cool. And I especially love where we've put him up on the bookcase. I think it just makes it such a like a feature up there. And yeah, we've had so many compliments on him so far. I've only had him about a week. Um, and I love him, I absolutely love him. Good morning everyone, and it's happy weekend for me here. I don't know when you're gonna be watching it, probably won't be the weekend. Um, but I kind of mainly just wanted to come on here to sign off and say thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I really like doing these laid back weekly vlog kind of things. I hope you guys enjoy them. You do really seem to like them. I'm getting so many messages from you guys saying that they're your favourite kinds of videos. So that makes me really, really happy. Um, but yes, I just wanted to come on here and say that I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a like and comment below. Tell me what your favourite thing about the video was and what else you'd like to see on my channel because I'm always loving hearing your guys' suggestions. So other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.